Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to do our third video on theming and Magento, and we're going to create our own theme. Uh, and it's going to be the first time we've ever done that, so it's really exciting. Uh, and it's something that once you learn how to create your own theme, you know, you can pretty much do anything you want in Magento. You can have it look all sorts of ways. In fact, and actually, before we get started, I just want to share a site that I found uh, this past week. Uh, it was shared through Twitter. Um, and skinnyties.com, I uh, actually was just really blown away by how awesome this site is. It's really nicely responsive to, so when you adjust the menu here, this menu always sort of adjusts to. Uh, this thing turns into a slideshow. It's just a beautiful site, really well done. And I was uh, pleasantly surprised to see it was built with Magento. So just this goes to show you uh, just how amazing you can make your site look with great CSS and changing the layouts and everything. So check this site out at skinnyties.com. I got no affiliation with them, just saw it the other day. I thought it was cool. So that said, that's something to aspire to. And let's get into building a theme. So the thing that we need to build a theme is we really just need to have a few files and directories first. So let's get started with this and let's check out, see what some of these other ones have. They have, uh, you'll notice a CSS folder, uh, maybe a favicon and an images folder. Um, these images are only pertaining to the theme, by the way. They're not going to be product images or anything. So these sort of all have some different things, but uh, most of them have images and CSS and probably a JavaScript. Let's go in here and, uh, by the way, the folder structure I'm at is, this is the root of our product, our project. We have skin, and then we're gonna go to front end, and then right in here, we're gonna create a new folder. And this is gonna be the name of your theme. So ours is gonna be uh, level up to keep it consistent with everything. I'm gonna click into level up here. And the first thing, uh, if you remember, this is our theme package. Okay, the name of our theme package is level up. Now we need to create our theme instance, right? This this base theme. And if you remember, we said we wanted to have a, a theme that was called default within our theme package. So let's uh, make our theme named default now. Okay, so default is next. And inside of default, you're gonna want uh, a couple of folders. You're going to want a CSS folder, um, you're also probably going to want a JavaScript folder and an images folder. Okay, so we don't need anything in those. Those are just folders we're going to have. Once we create our CSS file, we can throw it in here, and it's, this is where it's going to read it from. And also, we need to create our theme in app design front end. And then here, we're also going to create a new folder, name it the same thing. So you want your uh, theme package to be the exact same. And then inside of here, we need another default. So this uh, file structure so far mimics the other one. However, inside of default, we need two different things. We need a layout folder and we need a template folder. Now these will all make sense a little bit more once we get into what you're gonna be doing inside of these folders. But this is really all you need to get a theme going. So we now have our theme file structure created. Let's go actually go back over here. Let's go to level up. Okay, so we now have a theme. So at this point, we're going to want to disable the uh, system cache for our website. If we're gonna be changing a lot of these files, we don't want to have to be clearing the cache all the time for our site. So let's go to the admin panel, and then let's go to uh, system, and then we're gonna do cache management, which is right down here. Okay, we're gonna go here and we're going to select all of these and uh, we're going to tell it to disable. We're just going to disable all of these caches because this site isn't in production right now. Nobody's visiting it. Uh, caching the site's really just going to make it run faster. So we might as well disable all this stuff right now when we're developing, then we don't have to worry about flushing the cache or anything. So now let's go and apply our new theme. So let's go to system admin configuration uh, like we went to before. And if you remember, we went to uh, design. Inside of design here, we had our blue uh, skin applied. And uh, if you remember, we made our package, our theme package, we named it level up. So whatever you named yours, name it here. Ours is level up. 
And um, that's really all you need to do. I'm gonna get rid of this blue because we don't have a, a theme variant or anything that has named blue. Um, we're not using any different templates. Um, the default, everything's going to be the same. So really, we just want our current package name in here and we're gonna click save. So now let's check out what our site looks like. I'm gonna go refresh it. Sorry, this is not it. Uh, refresh it and there's nothing. It's not using anything. Uh, well, it is using basically the base layout files, um, which without those, you wouldn't see anything. So the base layout, uh, PHP files and XML files, we're still getting. However, it's completely unstyled, which is great if you are a CSS person, you really like CSSing things. Um, the, from here, you can take it from here if you don't need to change the layout too much, and you can get your site looking like whatever you need it to. Um, however, if you need to get into changing a little bit more, we're going to go into all of that stuff. But here we have a nice blank Magento theme, and real quick, let's actually show you, in fact, that this is really working, and we're going to create a CSS file. So I'm going to open up Sublime Text here. I'm going to actually throw this whole... Uh, this whole theme right here, default, whatever, I'm gonna throw this into Sublime Text. If you're using a different app, whatever, um, this is just how I'm doing it in Sublime Text here. So we have our project. In CSS, I'm gonna click here and create a new file. And I'm gonna save this. And the name of this file is going to be styles.css. This is the file name that uh, Magento is going to be looking for. So if we're using something like SAS, um, like you may have seen some of the other SAS tutorials that we've done, you could do styles.scss and have it compiled to styles.css. But for this, we're just going to keep it simple. I'm going to name it styles.css and we're going to click save here. I'm just going to do body and then we're going to do background uh, color and we'll have this be the level up tuts purple. So that color is right here. Okay, it's this and of course you can have yours be whatever you'd like. So let's go back to our page, let's refresh it, and we now see that our site is the Level Up Tuts purple, and we're well on our way to having our own theme. So in the next lesson, we're gonna be going over even more controlling layouts, controlling skins, we're gonna start building more of our skin out, we're gonna do all sorts of cool stuff, and uh, you're gonna really get a, the hang of what, what theming in Magento is all about, okay? So as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. This is enough to get you working uh, and starting your base theme, CSS the crap out of it. If you don't know CSS, uh, Level, Up has, Level Up Tuts has CSS tutorials and CSS3 tutorials. You can get some good looking stuff going um, from the very basics to advanced stuff. You'll really know how to you know, build out a whole site. And since you already have the HTML output here through the PHP, you're all good and uh, you just really have to start styling. Okay, so if you have any questions, hit us up at Twitter. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Bye.